I'm James Messer from ProfessorMesser.com. And if you're a Linux user who also uses Windows, you may notice that the dig utility is not available in the Windows operating system. There is a way to download and install it, however. It's not completely straightforward, but the process is relatively easy, and we'll take you through that in this video. One of the first things we'll do is download by 9 and install some of the tools in that utility. This is the Berkeley Internet Name Domain. And if you're familiar at all with name services, this is a DNS server. We won't be installing the entire bind services, so you won't be running a DNS server on your Windows 10 machine. We're just installing some of the tools that come with bind. And one of the small annoyances to this bind installation is that it does not add a path to the executable. So I'll show you how that's easily done in your Windows 10 desktop. We're going to download the bind distribution from the ISC. This is the Internet Systems Consortium. This is an organization that makes tools and utilities that can be used on the Internet. The specific tool that we're downloading is called Bind. This is the Berkeley Internet name domain. And the version number that we happen to be installing in this case is version 9. And again, we're not installing the entire package. We're just installing some of the tools. And I'll show you in the setup process how you can make that distinction. To download the installation program, we'll head over to isc.org, and we will click the Downloads link. And if we scroll down a bit, we will choose the option for downloading Bind 9. There is a development, a current stable, and a current stable ESV version. We're going to choose the current stable, and we will click the Download button. It gives us an option to download a Windows version or a Linux or Unix version. We can download the Windows version because we want the dig version that runs in a Windows executable. The installation is downloaded as a zip file. So in Windows, we can right mouse click and choose to extract all. And we'll just choose to extract it to a folder name that matches the name of the zip file. Once we extract it, it shows us all of the files that have been now extracted to that folder. The one that we would like to run is right here near at the top called bind install. Like many Windows programs, we need to run this installation as an administrator. You don't want to run this with normal user rights. We will then get a message from Windows saying that Microsoft Defender Smart Screen prevented an unrecognized app from starting. Well, we know what this app is, so I'm going to choose More Info and choose the option to run it anyway because we do trust the source where we downloaded this original program. When we click Run Anyway, we get the user account control prompt that asks, do you want to allow this app from an unknown publisher to make changes to your device? In this case, we know the publisher and we do trust it. So we're going to choose to, yes, install that program. It presents us with the Buy 9 Installer dialog. Everything in here is fine by default, except this option here for Tools Only. That's the one that we want to click to only install the tools and not the actual service. Once you click that, you can click Install. And if you do not have the Microsoft Visual C++ 2017 redistributable, then you will need to install that as well. I'm going to read through the terms of conditions. I'm going to agree to those. And we'll click the Install option. It installs pretty quickly. The setup was successful. We'll close that out. And it says that bind installation has completed successfully. So let's give it a shot. I'm going to pop open a command prompt. And of course, we know that NSLOOKUP works on this computer. We'll do an NSLOOKUP to professormesser.com. And we get an answer back from the domain name server. Let's try the new dig command that we just installed. We'll type dig and www.professormesser.com. And we see that dig is not recognized as an internal or external command. That's because the installation program did not create a path that allows Windows to find the dig executable. Let's do that now. To add the environment variable, we need a control panel applet. And you can either type in control panel in the search. I put a link right on my desktop for the control panel. And if you scroll down and look for the system control panel applet, there's an option inside the system applet for advanced system settings. And inside of advanced system settings, which is the system properties dialog box, we want the advanced tab. And you can see on there is an option for environment variables. Click that option, and you'll get a number of different variables that have been added to the system. The one that we want is a system variable that has already been created with other items. It is the one called path. So look for that in your system variables option. And we want to edit the path. When we click the Edit option, you'll see all of the other environment variables that have been added for that path. 
I'm going to add a new one. So let's click New right at the top. It puts a blank, and we could type in the entire path if we would like. Or we can simply browse to the path. In my case, this is going to be in this PC under the C colon. This is in my program files directory. and is in the ISC bind 9 directory. And underneath that directory is a bin folder. So make sure you scroll all the way through into program files, ISC by 9, and choose the bin folder. And when you do that, it will put C colon backslash program files backslash ISC by 9 backslash bin. And it has added that environment variable to the list. We'll click OK and OK again to close that out. To use that new path environment variable, we'll close out the command prompt that we had earlier, and we'll open a new command prompt. Then we will run the dig command to www.professormesser.com. And now that the path is in place, we can run dig from our Windows desktop. I hope that helps you with your certification studies or if you need dig on your Windows desktop for your day-to-day -day work. We've got so much more available on our website. We've got our free certification courses, daily pop quiz questions, monthly study groups, and so much more. Head on over to professormesser.com, and thanks for watching.